All right. It's time for the tier list that matters. As someone who's been playing Genshin Impact for over three years, and who has some characters and have built them, and whatnot, I think it's time that I put my opinion out there publicly. And for any video format. My opinions may change, depending on the meta, but who knows? So yes, this is a tier list for gameplay aspects of the characters. Here we go. So a majority of this will be easy because some of these characters I do not have, but some of these characters I do have but haven't built, such as Albedo, Eloy, Ayaka. She is a very, very good DPS character, and I know it. But unfortunately for me, she does below 15k, normally. And that is with swirling, by the way. So, it's whatever. Uh, Barbara is a pretty great support, not gonna lie. Her healing is tied to her skill, which is infinitely better than any of the characters that can heal, but only based on their burst. And only heal on their burst, and it's a small AoE. She is infinitely better. Not to mention, her burst is a party-wide heal as well, which is incredible. Uh, Beto, I'm kind of meh on. She is good, don't get me wrong. But I feel like you need Fischl to make her good because she's a battery. Fischl, anyway. And... I think Fischl is better, purely because uh, Beto's off-field damage is tied to her burst, whereas Fischl's is tied to her skill. Oh boy, time for the one that I'm going to get cancelled for the most. I think Bennett is not a good character. Now let me explain. Bennett's attack buff is tied to, her, to his burst, correct? His energy regeneration is not that good, as you only get two particles, right? So, the obvious answer would be to put him in a double pyro comp, right? Okay. Now, with that out of the way, his attack buff is only based on his burst, which you need to stand in the AoE to gain the effects from. Not to mention, his burst only lasts 10 seconds, so you only get his attack buff for 10 seconds. And if you especially have him in the first, uh, as the first character in the rotation, your main DPS ain't gonna get a huge boost of damage. Now, oh, not only that, but his heals are dog shit. Like, yes, the uh, tick rate at which he heals is great, but he only heals to 70%. That's not good for a healer in my eyes. A healer is someone that heals to max HP or beyond. Him only healing to 70% is not that good in, to me. Now, yes, there is a way to make it so that you can somehow pass by 70%. Excuse me, but good luck trying to do that. Now for a positive thing on Bennett. I think his C6 is actually worth getting. Because you only want to use him in a Pyro DPS focused comp. Granted, the only character that can make full you. Uh, that can fully utilize that would be uh, Deluke, I believe, because uh, he doesn't work for bow characters or for catalyst characters, and you don't want to use him with Hu Tao because Hu Tao wants to be below the HP threshold, so she gets an attack buff. But aside from that, yeah, his C6 is perfectly fine. I see no issue with it, honestly. Moving on, uh, I would say Chung Yun is a niche support, honestly. He's perfect for for, uh, for cryo infusion, and uh, as a four star DPS, he is pretty good. I liked using him in the early days of my Genshin career when I didn't have that many characters to begin with. So there is that. Deluc is still is to this day one of the best DPSs in the game. Now let me clarify, he is. He is still the best DPS in the game if you do not have Hu Tao or Yoimiya or Yanfei, but that's besides the point. I say that because anyone can get Deluke. However, not many people can get Hu Tao or Yoimiya. Granted, 
as of recording, 4.1 is around the corner, and so is Hu Tao. So if you want a Pyro DPS character, now's the time to save. But anyway, Duluk is a pretty great character, and he's incredible. Same as Eula. Physical is king in this game. I don't care what you say, physical is king. Because in a team, in a game where you want to focus on elemental reactions a lot, you are going to come across enemies that are just naturally attuned to elements, such as the slimes, for instance, for as an example. So say, for instance, you're up against the Pyro Slime, and you have a main Pyro DPS character. Now you're going to have to switch to a Cryo DPS, or a Hydro DPS, or an Electro DPS character instead. And you're going to have to have no Pyro character in the comp. Fiscal just bypasses that. Eula is great, and I will not pretend otherwise. Yanfei is pretty great for a 4-star character, and she's a fantastic substitute if you don't have Yoimiya or Hu Tao. But I will say she is tricky to use. Very tricky to use. Uh, Fischl, great support. She's incredible. Like, she's a battery, for one. And two, she does off-field electro damage, thanks to Oz. And that's just incredible in this game. Heh, <laughs> time for another one I'm gonna get a lot of heat for. I don't think Ganyu is all that shit. And she's marketed out to be a support if you don't have her constellations. However, even with her constellations, just use Ayaka if you have her. I don't think Ganyu is all that, personally speaking. I think she's an okay cryo character, but she's definitely not the be-all, end-all cryo character in this game. Uh, haven't fully built Goro. He's whatever. He can only be fully utilized in a Geo main comp, but because we don't have a actual Geo healer, I know there's Noelle, but she heals on uh, whenever she takes the field. No, thank you. Uh, Huto is the best DPS in the game, and I will not take uh, any questions. She is single-handedly the best DPS in Genshin, even though she is unlimited 5-star. If I were to, you know, like, I would do this, happily. And have to mention, Deluke is only up here because he's on standard, because everyone can grab him. But, Hu Tao is the best DPS character in this game, bar none. However, against pyro enemies, you you are going to want to use someone like Eula or Ayaka, as an example. Hu Tao is incredible. Ito! He's a Geo character, what more do you want from me? Uh, Kaya, I haven't really built yet, but I'm looking forward to building him, because I see that he has great potential. You're joking yourself if you don't think Kazuha has the best support in the game. He's incredible. However, I do think Sucrose is better than him, for the same reason why I think Deluke is slightly better than Hu Tao, and that's because everyone can has access to Sucrose, and everyone can see six her. You can't. Uh, not many people can do that with Kaza because one, he's a limited character, and two, he's a five star. So good luck on trying to see six him unless if you're a whale. And I haven't built. Chi Chi is a great support, and I'm tired of pretending otherwise. She is the best cryo support character in this game, bar none, because her, unlike other cryo characters, she has cryo application tied to her skill and not her burst, and it's not AoE. When are we going to get a cryo character that's like Fischl or uh, Xing Chao, where their skill slash burst attacks whenever the uh, player attacks? Because that needs to happen sooner rather than later, preferably. Anyway... Razor is another great DPS character. Yes, he's physical, and yes, he may be slow, but even then, he is very strong. Very strong indeed. And you do need Fischl to run with him, because for some reason, his ultimate uh, won't gain energy when after you use it. Um, I think Rosaria is kind of niche. Excuse me. Uh... I think she's kind of niche. Niche. She can either be a physical character or a support character, depending on how you want her to be. But overall, I would say she's uh, good, honestly. Uh, haven't built Sara. Haven't built um, Sayu. 
Shinha is very niche. She only works well with cryo characters, and since there's only really one cryo DPS character in Ayaka, yeah. Like, um, if you don't have Ayaka, then don't pull for Shenha. Basically. A is really good. She's basically official, but on crack. So there's that. Now, this is just me and a personal thing, but anytime I've used Tartelia, he's been very, very lackluster to me. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. He's always on four piece heart of depth with attack, sands, hydro goblet, and crit rate circlet. And I always use him in his stance mode. But I don't understand it at all. Anyway, Toma is a really good support, and he is honestly the best shield character in the entire game. Minus Zhang Dong Li. I don't have Zhang Li yet, but even then, because Zhang Li is Geo, and Toma's shields can, you know, you skill and then burst, and you have two shields for the price of one. And even when you rotate back to him, more often than not, his shield will still be up. So, yeah, Toma's incredible. Uh, Vinti, I think, is dog shit. Because instead of grouping up enemies, he knocks them back, and he lifts them up into the air with his ultimate. So you have to play around that fact. So unless if you have Gun Yu or Ayaka, good fucking luck using him. Uh, Shang Ling, I haven't really fully built. I understand that she's a very powerful unit. But eh, I'd rather use someone else, personally speaking. Uh, haven't used Zhao, and yeah, 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 Xing Chao is amazing. Like, he does off-field hydro damage, slash application, and hydro application is very, very good, because Vaporize is incredible. Not only that, but Electro Charge is also pretty great, too. Granted, it's only good against uh, non-boss enemies, because I don't think bosses can be stunned or knocked back, but I don't know. Uh, Jinyan I have used, slash built a tiny bit, but not fully. I really wish she got fixed, though. I would say Yunjin is okay, but she is very niche since she only works with auto-attackers, basically. Is her kit yet? I think Yelan is amazing. Uh, I haven't fully gotten to utilize her yet, slash seen her potential, but she is pretty great. Though I do prefer Xingqiu, only because he heals and because he has a pseudo-shield. Uh, Heizo. He's pretty fun to use, if... But, I will say, his damage output is very lacking, as well. From memory, though, at the very least. Um, it hurts my soul to put her here, but... Kali is kinda meh, because there are better, din better Dendro characters out there in the game. Uh, Leila is kinda meh, I'd rather use Diona. Uh, Farazan is very niche. Scaramouche is in, uh, Mika. But, I will say he is very niche, since he only works with physical. And then, I don't have any of these characters. Oh, I forgot about Diana. Uh, yeah, she's a great support, honestly speaking. And there we go. Here is my Gitchen Impact uh, playstyle slash uh, gameplay kit, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm bad with words. I apologize. So uh, that is my tier list. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? I'm willing to bet a lot of people are going to disagree with me on Bennett and try and, and put him up here, even though he's not that good in my eyes. I'll see you all then, or I'll see you all later.